fire Garrett in the hand, want to get rid of Dak. But now we're on the roll, aren't we? And now the bad white is rolling in the right direction. And if we can pull this off and then take some time, get ready for the uh, Saints on the 29th of November. But we don't want to get too far ahead. You know, and Coach Landry O used to tell us back in the day, one game at a time. Take one game at a time. And one game at a time. Come back, yeah. Hey, man. Come on. Get there. Hey, Ron, what's up, man? How you doing, y'all? Good man. doing great. How you feel about this uh, this season, man? We're five and five right now. We got a, a game that we must win. I think we must win tomorrow. Cause yeah. since they already talking North Redskins, you know how they go. I mean, the goal. I mean, the goal is to win every game, you know. But um, you know, it's been up and down. But um, uh, we always knew, you know, what I'm saying that we, we, we know we're capable of. So uh, uh, lately, um, things been, ex have been been ex we've been executing stuff and. Um, we just been playing ball like it. Just feel like it. Just feel like ourselves, you know. Um, yes. We never been really out of any game, you know. But, true um, that. True that. But you know, um, you know, it's the NFL. You know, uh, every everybody comes out there to compete. You know? That's all we gotta do. We gotta keep, keep coming out there and compete. Keep coming out there and compete. So with that being said, I got my guy over here, Bach Lombardi. He also do film sets and film breakdown. Okay. Bach, go ahead and ask him a few questions if you don't mind. You know, switch it over. Keep it live right here. Break it down the film. I ain't, I ain't even really, really think about this, but I just asked him because I watched a lot of film on him. He was a fullback back in the day. I didn't know he was gonna be this size on me. <laughs> so, like, what we got for the Redskins package-wise? Because I know Jeff Swain is out, so we could work, you know, work you in that way. Jamez could, you know, maybe line up at tight end. You in the backfield somewhere. Um, you know, twenty personnel. Got anything worth in for you like that for you to get extra work since Swain's missed? I mean, really, um, all, all, all I can do is go out there and uh, contribute when, when my number is called. You know, I go out there and um, whenever they need me, they, they use me in, in a lot of different ways, you know. But, um, you know, whenever my number is called, I go out there and I go out there and make sure I'm on top of my game and make sure we don't miss a beat. So, uh, you like to run people over too, don't you? I like to do with everything, man. He likes to, I like to do everything, man. He, he likes to run people over. And I tell my fan base all the time, the Cowboys fan base, like you should get snaps just based off the energy that you bring. Because when Zeke gets his break, because he does need his break, Ron comes in, whether it be catching screens, short yardage things, third down, stuff like that. He does lay a little wood and we see the reaction and the offense will kind of start to get rolling like that. So just a lot of hidden gems with, you know, Ron. So the back, finesse. <laughs> I, got, I got a little skill, man. I got a little skill. <laughs> 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 you got know, competition. Let's get the ruler out. They ain't even picked out yet. <laughs> oh, man. They ain't even picked out. <laughs> See, that's that old lineman talk, man. I'm, I'm old school. Yeah, I mean, I See, this the old lineman talk right here. <laughs> Let me show y'all the scared of man DB talk, man. Y'all can't break that. Good question. Hey, man. Hey, go ahead and ask me a few questions about the game and all this good stuff. So, because I watch film on my channel, right? And I'm constantly telling people we have to move a gap we got to block the backside linebacker man and people don't really understand how how, how pivotal that is you the center <laughs> you got to communicate all this within 10 seconds <laughs> can you tell the people how strenuous it is <laughs> to get all that done make sure all your guys are good we straight then snap the ball and move somebody just talk about that uh, man i mean you know it's uh it's difficult yeah. but uh you know um this is what we play football for you know yeah. this is why we're professional athletes mm -hmm. and um you know, luckily enough for us, we got a good quarterback back there that knows what he's doing. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, honestly, man, I got, you know, Zach Martin next to me, pro bowler. I mean, probably one of the greatest to ever do it. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I sit there and rely on them, rely on those guys. Travis is over there helping me out. So, so that's what we try to do, man, just all work as a team. I got a less serious question. Zach Martin seems like he has a nasty growl. So when y'all comboing people, right? Does he have a nasty growl? What does that sound like when he, when it, when y'all when y'all come on one text? Yeah, you know it's, it's like a uh, you know kind of like a that it's, face? A, it's, a, it's a you know it's a scary growl. So, you know, it's same a, face and everything that face you just I, made right I there. I wouldn't want to be in front of the guy, you know. I tell you what, man, like. People may not tell you, man, but but as, as as far as playing center, you've done an amazing job of coming in and not being noticed. Right. Because the offensive line, if, if we notice you, if they say your name on TV, you're wrong. And we want to fire you, we want to get rid of you. But you've done a great job of not giving up big plays, man. But you're uh you're you're not a young guy. You you you've done this for a while. Mm -hmm. So hey man, tell us about your growth, man. Tell us about about actually settling into the center spot. Cause this, we hope Travis gets better, but this is your offensive line, center-wise, until he gets back. So tell us about the comfort at the spot. 
Well, you know, um, just uh, being a backup, you know, having that backup role, it's our job, you know, to re be ready whenever, uh, whenever your number is called. And uh, the expectation is that, you know, there's not supposed to be any letdown. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I've been a backup, you know, seven years up until this time. And, um, you know, I'm, so I've always kind of prepared like I've been a starter. Okay. And uh, sitting next to Travis Frederick for three years, you know, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't get a better player, you know, to, to learn from and to teach you. So Absolutely. You know, give you know give give big props to him, you know, uh, for helping me out and doing what he does. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, yeah, my thought is just go out there and put my best, you know, just have fun. Okay. Yes, indeed. That's what's it. Let me uh let me uh, make sure I say his name right. Xavier Suafila. Oh yeah. How how um how is he playing <laughs> next to him? How how fast is he? Picking up things, does he have a nasty growl that he, you know, that he does in combo blocks? No, no. I mean, this guy has one of the best smiles you ever see in your life. Okay. And, uh, but no, you know, Xavier is a great football player. You know, he's been in the league, you know, for a very long time. Yeah. I mean, he started, you know, 45 plus games in the NFL. So right. you know, the guy knows what he's doing. And uh, I mean, he probably has the best hair on the team too. Yeah. So, so <laughs> the dude's hair looks. Okay. So, last non-serious question: Sue Philo's hair? Or old Beasley hair, because Beasley's mm. old hair was luxurious. Yeah, majestic, I think is the word. I, I can't say no to old Beasley's hair. Yeah. You know, it reminds me, have you ever seen the movie Carrie? Yeah. You remember, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what's the guy's name that took her to prom? Oh, from uh, Carrie. Uh, oh, man. It, but his locks, they look yeah. just alike. Yeah. yeah. Just, just magical. Heaven. Oh, I can't man. say no to it. Joe Bo Joe, appreciate shake my hand on Cam. <laughs> For the people, salute to you, sir. Thank you. Hey, I still got a better beard, man. Oh, hey, thank you. Oh, yeah. I got a better beard, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no. Get out of this thing, man. Get out of here. You can't fake this. And the curls, that's all natural. You can't fake that. <laughs> but, that's juice, but that's juices and berries. Juices and berries. That ain't no juices and berries. That's Got his uh, tail up. That'd be eight dollars. That'd be eight dollars. What's going on, man? Not much. How you doing? Paul Nation is my name. All right. I have Bob Lombardi. He's going to ask you a set of questions. If you don't mind about the game, the floor of the game, playing on Thanksgiving Day and this sort of thing. Watch. Go ahead and go with it. Lars put me on the spot three times. Three times. Spot three times. I don't mind. And I do I'll get it done. Beard than Joe Louis. So, <laughs> Jeff. So, so. Do you ever get mad when, you know, because I think you have ball hawk skills. I, I definitely think you got a lot of range, you got a lot of IQ, plus you can play strong in the box and tap. Do you, do you like not like being like rated properly or whatever? Because you're very underrated in my opinion. I don't mind, man. Let me step on the floor. I don't mind, no, as long as, uh, I mean, as long as my teammates yeah. are liking what I'm doing, my coaches and people who uh, sign my checks like what I'm doing, then that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Can you rap? I mean, it just kind of looks like you rap a little bit. I can't rap. Y'all <laughs> uh, almost had the interception last week. Uh, Julio yeah. Jones kind of hit you in the sternum. Did that hurt pretty bad? Uh, it did for a little bit. Just got the wind knocked out of me a little bit. Came, okay, uh, came right on back. Yeah. What we're gonna do tomorrow, man? What's the uh, what's the big keys to the game tomorrow? It's just whatever you can give away. Not really game plan stuff. Yeah, man. We just gotta we just gotta play our style of football. You know, when we when we play well and we're winning games, uh, we're just playing our style. Offense is controlling the ball. We're running the ball. Uh, convert on third down and defense goes out, we stop the run and uh, just get off the field. So that's really all, all it takes. You don't have to do anything special. So people decide, I got about 30,000 people in this chat box, but one person loves you to death. Loves you to death. Can you just say, hey, Tasha, and wave for me? Hey, Tasha. He's, Jeff, he said, hey, Tasha, we got it done for you. There you go. She was mad when Julio hit you. She cussed Julio clean out. <laughs> yeah, she did. Look, she did. She did. Alice gets hurt, Cole McCoy starts. Yeah. So you as a safety, like, does that change your job any moving forward, um, like, preparation-wise or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. You just got to know, like, most teams will just try to, they'll run their system, you know, the, the backup uh, quarterback, he can run the system just as well as the starter. Um, as far as like watching film, you're just gonna, you have to get a little different feel because you don't have as much film on that quarterback, so you don't get a, as good of a feel for how he surveys the field and uh, how he looks when he's throwing deep or how he looks when he's throwing short, stuff like that. But uh, I mean, there's film of him in the preseason, stuff like that. So we got, we have, uh, yeah, we have, we have all that stuff on film. 2014 tape, you watched a lot of that? Uh, we didn't play this, right? Coach yeah, we didn't watch much of it just because the teams are so different now. But um, you know, we watched some of the preseason, and then you know when he got in the game last week. Yeah. Okay.
someone in, someone in my uh, chat box they want to know what you what you um, think about our linebackers. I'm sure you love them, but personally, what you think about our linebackers? Yeah, I love those guys, man. They're uh, they're playing really well for us. Um, you know, I think they're very versatile. They're very athletic, and. Uh, Okay, then, so you have to tackle a 50-year-old running back this week. <laughs> don't hold back. Shake my hand on cam, please. He don't run like he's 50. He, he don't run, run like he's 50. Like he's 50. Yeah. Thank I'm you very much, Dusty. That's Jeff Heath, y'all. All right, Jeff. I appreciate right, you letting yep. coming in, man. Yep. Yes. Oh, my 